Hello, it's Sarah. I've been busy. Um, my neighbor's daughter graduated high school um, and is off to college in the fall. So um, they had a party and I didn't know what style she was, like if she was grunge or, you know, anything, a uh, surfer or whatever. And she said flowers and butterflies. So I decided to make her a bunch of stuff. Um, this is a couple of the things I'm finished with. I made her a photo album. I figured she could use that to store some memories um, of her first year of college and or whatever she wanted to do. Um, I used, for all these projects, I'm going to use um, Prima. I've got the Fairy Rhymes. I've got Divine. And I've got Lyric. So I had those paper pads, so I just mixed and matched and went for it. So... I'm just going to get started. This is actually the, um, what is it, the envelope mini album, Kathy Orta's um, style. So what I have here on the front is a piece of paper that says remembering these special moments. I put um, lace, first I put, I had a couple different things going on with the, with the binding here and I ended up liking it very much what I came up with, I ended up with. Um, there's pink ribbon underneath this lace. So I think that turned out pretty good. I had a couple other things on there and they came off. I've been using tacky glue. Um, this is Fabrifix. Where is it? This Fabri-Tac. Fabri-Tac I've been using instead of hot glue, although I did hot glue on the, um, this Cameo. Let me see if you can see. Um, but I, I been, and then I think I use glossy accents on my metal pieces, so I did put glossy accents on there. Um, I use Fabri-Tac for my flowers. This is actually just stuck down with the adhesive that it came with, um, and the little butterflies and stuff. I think I just um, used probably Fabri-Tac for them, so because that's what's on my desk. So that's the cover, basically. Um, I just did the same thing on the back, some more of the Prima paper. And I, I put a couple keys. See, there was a key here, and I just kind of stuck with the theme of the paper um, for what I did. I put a K for her name, Kelsey. And I used uh, Tim Holtz Swivel Clasp as my clasp here. I'm going to have to make sure she knows how to use that. And I kept it really basic inside because I've noticed that a lot of my photo albums, I use papers that are so gorgeous that I think it's almost, people probably are a little intimidated when they have to cover them up. So I really wanted to keep this just really calm papers, basic um, colors. So I used a lot of the um, papers from the pads that had as little, you know, as little uh, pictures and things so that, that she wouldn't feel um, like she was covering anything up. So this is what I came up with. I'm, I think I'm going to put a couple of little pieces in here for journaling. I'm going to make some journaling, um, like not booklets, but just little folding uh, mats with a uh, place to write journaling. So this is this. So it's very kind of calm with just like I said with those papers. Uh, And the back's a little flashy. And that's it. So that's that. I love it, though. I, it's, it might be one of my favorites because, I don't know, I just like how it seems coordinated. Like, this little bundle of flowers kind of goes with that. And then the keys and the K. I don't know. I like the feel of it. I like everything. It's really made, like, well. Like, it, it closes really well. But, I mean, as soon as she puts stuff in, it's going to get fat. But there's a little room to move it around. So, anyway, so that's one of the things I made her. And then I made her again with all this Prima paper. This is one of those notebooks. Um, I did a YouTube video on it. Uh, it's just the Staples, um, what size are these? Like five by eight uh, memo pads. And um, what is her name? Oh man, I'm so sorry. I have the worst memory. Uh, Annette Green, her name is. She had a tutorial on these. And I actually got the, um, what is it? It's the... Claudine Helmuth uh, sticky back canvas and I love it. I absolutely love it. I had been doing it with paper and I 
was um, putting some Tyvek behind it to give that support so that it would last. But the sticky back canvas is just, it's, it's just the, the, it's thin and it moves and I, I love it. So I'm going to order more of that. I have the two colors. I got the white and the um, natural. It comes in big sheets like this, um, eight and a half by 11. So I, you just cut off a little piece for your binding. So you should be able to make a, quite a few of them with that. So there's the little pocket and the little, um, the paper pad that can come out. There's a sleeve behind it so you can change it. It's a little tight, this one. But uh, So that's two of the things. Now I'm making her um, a little um, dresser. I'm going to make her a dresser with the Lyric paper. I mean the, the Prima paper um, with Dream and all that stuff. And then I make her a card. I'm going to make her a card. So um, put some money in the card too. But I really like how these turned out. Um, I almost don't want to give it away. No, <laughs> I'll give it away. Um, so that's what I've been up to. Uh, I'll be back to show the other when I finish. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.